started getting into sewing and crochet this year. I think I got my sewing machine on December 31st. Ever since then, I've just been like infatuated. I started crocheting probably in February. This big basket is all the stuff I've made. So, there's a lot. I'm gonna start off with all my crochet stuff first. First, I'm gonna start with some of the stuff I gave to my sister. I have them because she lives in the same house as me right now. This is the shirt. It is a shell stitch. It's a super pretty purple color. It does not fit me because she is smaller than me, but you can imagine what it looks like. It's super cute. It's cap sleeve, square neck. I made a similar one for my friend for her birthday, but it's yellow. And I have a video of me wearing it, so I'll put that video in right now if I edit that correctly. But we'll see. Another thing that I made for my sister is this super cute flower sweater. I'll put it on over my shirt right now just because I'm kind of lazy to go find my tank top to put underneath. So imagine this is like black or white underneath and not blue. <laughs> But this is like what it looks like. It's super cute and I love it. I'm gonna make one for myself probably, but it's so cute. In Utah where I live for college, I lived right next to this like fabric and yarn secondhand thrift store. So I got a lot of the fabric and yarn there. Yarn for this sweater is from that thrift store. And I ran out at the very end. And since it's thrifted yarn, I can't just like go buy new stuff. So I used stuff I already had that was like very similar, but you can like totally tell it's like not the same at all, but it's okay. It's still cute. I don't think my sister cares much. My dad just showed up. So my dad's here now. That's so fun. I thought he'd be gone longer because he's going to Costco. Mozzie. <laughs> my dog. Oh. I've literally gotten through two items and someone is already home. So that's fun. So when my dad is bringing in groceries, I guess I'll just try on the next thing and he'll be in the background if he comes in. Also, we are not going in chronological order. This is still a work in progress. I'm not done with it, but it's gonna be a skirt. I made it too big on accident, but it's giving Tinkerbell vibes. Um, I made it very poofy. I'm not sure that was on purpose, but I don't know. But yeah, I need to add a lot more length, but it's taking up so much yarn because I increased so much. I started it when I went to Italy in June, um, and then I worked on it in Hawaii and California and here at home, and it's now end of July. All right, I'll be back at some point. Okay. Did you see what I made? In California. What? This. It's not completely done, but. Interesting. I like it. So I made this like tie top kind of thing. I would wear it with a tank top and not this shirt, but this shirt's just more versatile for everything else that I need to try on. It's just a mesh tie. I used a lot of, not treble crochets, but the one above it where you'd wrap it around four times. I don't know what it's called, but I used those. Completely ran out of yarn. Like this is the last bit of yarn that there was. So. This is as long as it's gonna be. And I got this yarn at that, that thrift store. It's kind of like a swimsuit cover, but I like it. The thing that I just showed you was the most recent thing that I had made in California. We got back yesterday, so I finished it in the car yesterday on the way home. I made this about a week ago, not secondhand. I went to a yarn store in Tempe, mohair blend, and I was really excited to work with it. So I made this mesh shirt. Let me just put this on. I don't know why I'm not wearing it. I love the way that the yarn looks and I love the shape of it. It's like very boxy. So I literally just made two squares and then crocheted the top together and the sides and then I added like I think four more rows to make it like short sleeve. I was gonna make it long sleeve but I ran out of yarn so that's this. this top I started making in Italy and I ran out of yarn and this is yarn that I got at the thrift store and I was so sad but then I came home and I found one more skein of that yarn. So I finished it, but I didn't have enough to make a long sleeve. So now it's like a vest. I wore it as a swimsuit cover in California and I got super cute pictures. So I'll insert some of those. So it just ties in the front. Really, really love the yarn. I finished it about a month ago, but I finished adding the frill like last week. And now I'm obsessed with it. Like I would wear this all the time. It's actually the first thing that I ever made for myself with crochet and it's with the smallest yarn ever. This sweater has gotten so much wear. Like I wear it so often. It's awesome. I would wear this with like a tank top underneath and not this black shirt. So it wouldn't have this right there. And this yarn is from the thrift store. It's blue. It looks kind of like dark on screen, but it is blue. And I saw that blue and I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. I want to make a sweater out of it. I want to do stripes. But I started making it and I soon realized I was not gonna have enough blue for that. So I was like, shoot, I found this blue. And I was like, you know, we'll use it. And I'm very glad I did. I really like how it looks with the two different blues. It's the first thing I ever made for myself and I'm probably gonna keep it till the day I die. So right after I made the blue sweater, I was in a small yarn phase apparently. So I went back to the thrift store and I bought this light purple yarn. And I soon realized 
I was not gonna have enough purple to make the sweater. I was like, okay, I guess we're alternating again, two different purples. I ran out of the purple yarn right at the very end. There it is. <laughs> Just for that like very small section on the sleeve. I feel like it would have been better if it was like cropped like to there, but it's okay. I like it. I would like just tuck it in a little. I made this headband. So I made this white headband out of like small yarn. So it's like almost a piece of fabric now because it's just a bunch of single crochets and it's just a cute little headband. I also made my mom a headband, but it's like with a shell stitch and like thicker yarn. I don't know where it went. She has it somewhere, but I made two headbands. That's all the crochet stuff I have with me, but I also made my friend a bag and it's reversible. Crochet on one side and fabric on the other side. I made my brother a bucket hat. I made my friend a bucket hat and I made my mom a bucket hat. So I'll insert pictures of all of those. I made myself this green patchwork little bag. I initially made it for my mom for like her birthday. <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad. I used this bag like one time. Dad had like told her that I was making it for her. And she was like, since you've already used it, how about I just take you to the yarn store and buy you more yarn and then you can make me a new bag. And I was like, um, and then she's like, I'll buy you yarn too. And I was like, okay, sure. So I, <laughs> she took me to the yarn store, bought me the yarn for her bag to make, and then bought me like new yarn that I haven't used yet. It's like small yarn and I haven't really been in the mood to do something small yarn again. But this is right after I finished making this, so. I was in the small yarn phase. And I'll go find the one that she wanted. This is the bag that I made for my mom. It's like the same style, just slightly bigger because she wanted to be able to fit her laptop in it. And then the straps are longer. I'm glad I got to keep the green one because I like it a lot. <laughs> Let's move on to the sewing items. Yeah, there's a lot. Most of the stuff I've made is sewing, but I like to wear the crochet stuff more, if that makes sense. To start off, with the thing that kicked it all off. <laughs> this jacket. So this was the reason I wanted a sewing machine. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I forgot how cute it was. <laughs> I made myself this jacket. I saw like everyone on YouTube, all the sewing people making jackets out of quilts. And I really, really wanted to do that. I was like, dad, please, I want a sewing machine. Please get me a sewing machine. I want to make a quilted jacket. And he was like, you're never going to use it. And I was like, yes, I promise. I will, I will. And I kept my promise <laughs> on this like quilt at Goodwill and I just turned it into a jacket and I love it so much. Man, I did a good job on this. I forgot how good it was because it's now summer and it's like 115 outside every day. So I just like don't wear jackets, but I can't wait for it to be cold again so I can wear this. I'm excited for winter. This is so cute. Holy crap. <laughs> I made these shorts and there's a matching shirt to it, but these shorts were a blanket I got at Goodwill and now they're shorts. I wear them all the time. They give major coastal granddaughter vibes. Yeah, that's just the vibes. They're just cute. I made her this skirt recently, like literally two weeks ago, from a pillowcase. So the top is like shearing. I also made myself this skirt. It's like this really pretty, yep. <laughs> this yellow blue flower skirt with shearing at the top. It's super cute. I definitely think the fabric of hers worked better because it was like more cottony, whereas this is more like stretchy spandexy. So the shearing doesn't work as well as I would have liked it to, but it's still really cute. I still really like the skirt and I'm definitely gonna wear it. I also made myself this skirt. So the top is like really sheer. So I use this like regular purple underneath, but the purple under fabric is so wrinkly. Like, do you see that? It's cute. I just would need to iron it. I got one more skirt and this is my most recent make. I got a pair of Levi jeans and I was gonna get rid of them, but then I made them into the skirt. So it's like super cute. But yeah, love this skirt. These shorts again used to be jeans. I cut them into shorts first and then I cut out stars with some other pair of jeans that I was getting rid of and then sewed them on. So I really like them and I like the way they look. So these are the first things that I made when I got the sewing machine, but I made these shorts and I did not know how to like make the seams. Like the edges are very raw and very fraying. And there's a hole right here in the leg. So not the best constructed. I still wear them, they're comfy, but yeah. It's like pajama shorts. I followed a tutorial on YouTube to make them. I made a lace shirt. I think it was like a curtain thing at Goodwill and it had like this like bottom flowery thing going on. I used ribbon as the straps but the ribbon is kind of fraying a little bit because I guess it doesn't wash very well. All right, and I made the back super low because it's so low it comes up like that in the front. So when I wear those I have to like constantly pull it back. Here's a matching shirt. 
that goes with the shorts. I guess I'll put it on. I don't really wear these two together because I don't like matching sets as much as I should. I think they're really cute on other people, but on me, I'm just not the biggest fan. Yeah. This I made from a pillowcase. It's just a cute little tank top. It has like this really fun texture. Um, someone definitely slept on this because it was a pillowcase, but I do not care. It is still very cute and I still wear it. So it's giving like 70s because of the cute little flower retro vibe going on there. Um, but I really like this tank top. She's super cute. I really, really love this one. It's just so hard to take off and put on. Pretend I'm not wearing this black shirt underneath, okay? I just don't want to have to go into my room to change because I'm scared people are going to see me through the windows. I tried to like make it tight right there, but it didn't work that well. So now there's just a random line in the middle. Super cute, definitely wrinkly right now, but love it. Hard to take off though. Okay, got it. The second jacket I've ever made. Also the only other one I've ever made. It's this like patchwork corduroy jacket. It's definitely way better constructed. It's not as comfortable because like it's pretty stiff. I have a whole video of me making this, so if you want to go watch that, you are more than welcome to. I made this in college near the end of the semester. Made a lot of mistakes. First of all, just admire it. It's cute. Just a lot that I have to fix about this because I messed up quite a bit. I didn't like leave enough space for the seam, so it's coming undone in some of them. There's this. I have to like re-sew it, but it's super cute. I really love mm. it. I love the bears that I added because there's just some fun little patches. All this fabric is from the thrift store and the zipper is also from the thrift store, so it's all secondhand. This vest is from a quilt that I found at the Goodwill Bins and I just made it into a quick vest. Uh, it's like got sailboats on it. I really like how it looks from the back. It's super cute with the sailboats. And I got this for probably like a dollar at the bins. First dress I ever made. It has like ruffling at the top and then it's like not gathered but like pleated. But this tank top strap, I just need to like fix it. Oh, it's cute though. I'm probably gonna wear this like soon. It's been a while since I have worn this. So I forgot how cute it was, but she's a cutie and she spins well too. <laughs> I don't spin well, but the dress does. But yeah, it's like this really cute floral and it just like poofs out really cute and I really like it. <sighs> I don't know why I haven't worn it more often, but I love it. It's so cute. It took me so, so long. You don't want to know how long because I kept making mistakes. I really, really like the fabric. So this is the most recent dress I've made. I just did shearing. I always say it wrong. It's shearing. Oh my gosh. Scared the crap out of me. Anyway, I'm just going to continue on. It's my dad's not home. <laughs> so the top is shearing and then I added the puff sleeves that I still don't know how to do correctly, so they're a little funky. Bottom hem likes to fold up and it's so frustrating. It was like pre-hemmed because this is a sheet that I found at Goodwill. And so the bottom sheet hem just likes to roll up and I need to probably iron that and fix it. And then also these sleeves keep falling down. So what I might do is add like something in the back to like tie it into a bow in the back, just to like keep the sleeves up so they don't keep falling down. I don't know how well it ends on the but this last dress, I'm pretty sure it spins well. So let me just try that one on real quick for you. Where'd she go? Stop coming in your room. Where'd she go? All right, here's the last dress. So yeah, that's all the dresses. Now I'm gonna show you the bags. Here's this like fun bag which I really like. And I usually use ribbon as the straps because I get really lazy. I don't want to sew the actual straps, but. Yep, super cute. I brought this to California and I used it as the beach bag like three days ago, so that was fun. A green corduroy bag, um, again, also from Goodwill. It is really wrinkly and there's mud stains on it now because I brought it to Hawaii and I did a hike in it and I fell into the mud like three times. So now there is mud all over it and it's not coming out of the wash, but that's okay. It's cute still. This side isn't as bad though, so I'd wear on this side probably. So this bag is actually the first thing I ever made and it's hand sewed. Yeah, it's pretty big. It took me way too long. But yeah, there's that. It's super cute, I really like it. Then I made this bag. I'll wear it as a crossbody if I wanted to. And it is like from a quilt that I found at Goodwill. 
and it's super big and super cute. I wore this bag one time when I donated plasma and the girl who took my blood was like, that's a cute bag. And I was like, thank you, I made it. And she was like, no way. And that's that. It's just a cute little purple quilt. This bag is like a little watering can. So the funny story about this thing is that I found this placemat at this little charity thrift store. An old guy checking me out, not okay. <laughs> I was scanning my products. Yeah, that kind of checkout. He was like, what are you gonna use that placemat for? I was like, I'm gonna make it into a bag. And he was like, oh, that's cute. Show me when you're done. And I was like, okay. But then I never saw him again because I went back to that thrift store with the bag like a week later and he wasn't there. So yeah, if he's watching, here's the bag. This bag, one of the first bags I made. It's very flimsy because it wasn't very thick fabric. So the edges are still like raw. But it's like this really cute farmer's market vibe bag. This bag, I'm actually really proud of it. I made this bag for Valentine's Day and I wore it to Walmart on Valentine's Day because I went to Walmart on Valentine's Day instead of actually having plans. This reversible bag, just reverse it real quick. This side is this. This is just some like ribbon that I found at the thrift store and I really liked it. So there's no raw edges. Um, this is like inside the bag. It's like pretty well done, I'd say. I made this bag. This side is this fabric, which is the same fabric as the shorts. Then this side is another fabric that I found at the thrift store. It's like this floral fabric. But again, there's a lot of raw edges. Cute little tote bag. Just like that. That's everything that I made. That's it.